Now, it's not just driving cars that create CO2, it's making them as well. But Ford are committed to reducing their impact in that area. And brilliantly, down the road on the A13 at Dagenham, they have wind turbines on the site that generate all the electricity needed to run the production line. And that's another UKIP win, Basildon North. The new bank holiday will take place just 100 days after UKIP came to power. So here we are then on the mall just by Buckingham Palace and behind me you can see part of the Festival of Britain. Sabir's release appears to have calmed the unrest. In this part of the programme, we're going to look at something called adaptive leadership. Adaptive leadership is a way of thinking that helps you engage with a wide range of people and perspectives so you can better tackle complex and uncertain challenges. In this video, I'm going to show you how to measure and fit a VLUX blind for a VLUX window. Now the first stage is to measure your window, but it's really easy. You don't need a tape measure. All you need to do is look for a special plate with a number on. On this window, it happens to be here. Look for a six digit code. The first three digits tell you what style of window it is. The final three digits tell you the size. So make a note of that number, put it into the system, send it off, and that's all you need to do. Right, we're going to put up a shelf. I've got the shelf that I am after, and this is the position I'm going to put it in. The most critical thing, of course, is that it's level. And with the bracket secured to the shelf, that's the job done. I'm going to use a, a sort of a middle of the range, a two. That's the one we use all the time. Yeah, if it? I come around here and do some... I'll do some swap <clears throat> with you then. I'll move around. Let's, do some, let's do some cutting in. And okay. you can just see the nice action that you can get with these brushes. Now, the, the tip with cutting in, never start right up against the line. Mr Laval's tragic death saw the start of a four-year series of investigations and court hearings for Airbus and the exhibition organisers BAC, the Bristol Aero Collection. There was a criminal investigation by the police, a health and safety executive investigation, and a coroner's inquest. Both Airbus and BAC entered a guilty plea, and the case was eventually referred to Bristol Crown Court.